Hey guys, welcome back to my channel. Today I'm coming to you with a kind of current things I've been loving right now. Um, I actually filmed in August favorites and I uploaded it but I just never really got around to putting it out there. So yeah, I'm going to go ahead and do that for you guys right now. It's kind of a combination of August and September favorites. So let's get started. Well, I have a combination of different items. I have some food stuff, um, hair. I have an app and a song. So we're going to start off with the song. Um, I've been totally digging this song and I think it is from Taylor Swift. Um, oh, I can't remember how it goes. I was just... I've been rocking out to that like the last couple of days. It is, and then just over the course of the month, I've heard it and been listening to it and have been really, really enjoying it. And now I can't think, shake, oh, whatever, I can't remember. But I've been loving that. Um, with regards to an app, I can't obviously show you because I'm filming from my phone, but I have been loving the app called seahorse and I'm gonna be having a full review posted on my blog sometime this week um, if it's not up already but it's basically something it's kind of reminds me of like an Instagram sort of but you don't really take pictures you upload photos and you'll have different scenes and galleries and what's really really cool about this app is that they are private galleries and you can decide to add friends or family members to the gallery so that they can actually view your photos so it's a way to share you know I don't know if you guys um, some of you may not know but back in the day I think it was Snapfish it was one of those websites where you could build a website and your family members could keep up with you through pictures and stuff and this is kind of similar to that um, so I've really really been enjoying that and with regards to an organizational app, it's been kind of crazy with regards to my blog lately. Um, I've been pretty much posting reviews or posts every day for the most part. And to keep that all organized, I have a regular day planner, um, which I did a review for several months ago and I love. But I've also been using an app called Trello. It is phenomenal. Um, it keeps me organized. I can write due dates for things. I can lay it out on a calendar so I know what days go where. I can update it with tasks that I've completed. It's super duper simple. I'll try to remember to put a screen capture in this video if I got the chance to. But overall, I really do love it. Um, now we're going to talk about some foodie things. Last month in my August videos, I mentioned my Snap Pea Crisps. Um, we have since run out and I haven't had the chance to go to Costco to pick them up yet. And I should have picked it up two weeks ago when I went because it was only six something and for the really, really big bag, um, which we love. I've mentioned them in favorites before. They're super delicious. If you are one that craves chips, then that would definitely be a great thing for you because it's just yummy. Um, another food item that the boys and I have actually been loving is the Nestle Crunch Girl Scout Cookie Flavored um, Limited Edition Bars. The boys and I actually did a car confessional with this and a taste test and after we did that we have been hooked on it all month. They have the Caramel Coconut um, the Thin Mints and the Peanut Butter Cream. Now the thing about these is they are limited edition so if you see them definitely pick it up if you want to test it out because you may not see it again. Um, only one store that I know of on my island still carries it. The rest of them sold out and they haven't gotten it back in again. So it's, it's a re-release because I believe it came out in February or April or February or March I think they re-released it again so definitely get your hands on it I'm hoping to make it permanent because they're awesome but we'll see now with regards to hair I don't know if you guys notice but my hair is dark I just use the Feria 
hair color. I am a huge L'Oreal Feria fan when it comes to DIY color your own hair at home. And I decided to go dark with my hair. Um, you can still see some light parts in it, but that was because I was in the sun. But I am super dark. It's kind of a... Um, like a purple black so to say but I'm really liking the darkness of my hair I've also I've said this many times Derm Organic is probably now my favorite hair care line ever um, at least top five and the Derm Organic leave-in spray therapy seal repair protect it's got argan oil in it you can get this at Ulta or dermorganic.com um, and this thing helps to control my frizz and I get a lot of that from like the transition between summer into fall so I am loving this stuff love 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 um, with regards to my face products I don't use CC BB creams foundation concealer but my face has been a little bit dry lately again that transition from summer into fall or winter months I have to be really careful about that because my eczema flares up really bad um, I haven't been using makeup every day maybe once a week at the most and I've been loving adding this CC cream by Olay Total FX it's a 7 in 1 CC cream pore minimizing it has a sunscreen of SPF 15 I'm going to be having a review on it soon. I do have it on today. Um, it really, it, it's tinted because this is in medium to deep. So it is tinted. Let's see if I can get some out without making a mess. It, it has a light tint to it, but I love that it doesn't have any flashback in photos, in videos. Um, I don't look like a ghostly figure. It blends in really nice. It gives me the added benefit of that added moisture, which my skin really needs. Um, and it also gives me that SPF protection on top of my regular SPF that I naturally wear already in my moisturizer. So I have additional benefits. I don't know about pore mine more. Blah. I don't know too much about the pore minimizing side of it because I really don't have large pores but it feels good on my skin it hasn't been clogging my pores um, it's just nice to know I have that added benefit and um, it's been really nice for applying blush and highlight and contouring um, because it just goes on really really nicely and smooths the skin out um, I I'm crazy about lippies this time of year fall and winter is when I pull all my dark lipsticks berries purples burgundies reds browns colors and um, I have a few different lippies to share with you guys the first two are soft matte lip creams um, the first one is what is up with this camera the first one is in the color Istanbul and this is a nudie pink but I love wearing it because it's a soft pink everyday type nude shade and then the next one here is Monte Carlo and this is a gorgeous red and you guys know I love these soft matte lip creams it's a gorgeous like pinky red I it's more red than pink but it has that kind of pink tone to it I love mixing them together if I want to create a kind of softer pink shade and that works really really well if they're mixed together I've been loving to use Monte Carlo with the Jordana Easy Liner um, lip pencil in Cabaret and this is a gorgeous kind of wine shade, which I love. Paired with the Monte Carlo together, when blended out, it just becomes a gorgeous kind of burgundy hue. That's the two of them side by side. So when I blend them out, um, it comes to this kind of wine berry shade, which is really nice. I've also been loving, I just did a review on the um, glazed lip paints from LA Girls. This is the new colors. I got the 12 new colors that just came out. I filmed a review on it, but I'm 
editing the blog post so you'll be seeing this sometime this week and this is in the color daring and this is a gorgeous purple shade it's like a mauvey purple it's that right here so I absolutely been loving also J cat this is in the color Queen of Hearts and that's what it looks like here it looks like an OCC lip tar I have a review coming on this as well because I have six of them this shade is a beautiful color very very dark that vampy kind of shade but even if it's rich when you blend it out it kind of it's just gorgeous look at how pretty that is absolutely have been loving that um, okay so that's lippies also um, Urban Decay's Revolu Revolution lipstick in Rapture this is like a mauve toned pink so it's perfect for year round but it's like a fig color which I love and I actually have that on my lips today that's this one right here I got swatches everywhere okay now we're gonna move into eye stuff I have you if you've been watching my latest tutorials and I used it in this look as well I've been using the color tattoo leathers um, from Maybelline and this is the color creamy beige that's what it looks like here I am absolutely loving this shade it actually is the perfect all over everyday shade all over the lid that's how I've been kind of blending it out and I really do enjoy it I've also been loving this Laura Mercier caviar stick eye color in the color plum that's what it looks like here like I said this is from Laura Mercier and it's a gorgeous plum shade this thing is so creamy it glides on so easily and I've been using it on the lower lash line and as a base for my eyeshadow which I've been loving um, mascara I have been in love obviously with my Miss Manga I've been using that in combination with my Too Faced Better Than Sex mascara however I went back to my Jordana Best Lash Extreme Volumizing Mascara um, one of my good good friends Mia she actually turned me on to this because I started using the new best lash volume best lash length um, from Jordana and she's like you gotta try the original formula so last year I tried it and I loved it the brush is so simple it's like it makes people wonder why this mascara is so good but it builds up the lashes really nice this is an awesome mascara and it's seriously three dollars like using it in combination with my Miss Manga or with my um, Too Faced Shadow Insurance it's been working really well or on its own I've been loving it just as much um, I have been in love and every year this time of year you will see this as a part of my favorites it is Max blue brown pigment um, this is the old old packaging I've had this a long time but the thing is is that you can take care of Mac pigments and they will last you a while um, I don't dip directly into my pigment jars I never do and I usually will take some and dump it out but that's what it looks like here it is a gorgeous shade and it is what I have on my eyes today so expect a tutorial coming soon if not before right after this video is posted um, but I love that that is one of my all-time favorite 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 pigments from Mac and it is just my go-to fall shade and I love it sorry just change myself up here um, I've also been loving my Too Faced chocolate bar palette and I'm missing another palette when I do use eyeshadows I've been using that or my Lorac Pro 2 palette so if you haven't seen what the chocolate bar palette is which I know you have these are the colors here they're perfect for fall so I used um, some of the shadows in this to create my eye look that you see here today so you can expect me to be using this palette a lot more um, it's just a favorite of mine 
but especially this time of year, I am huge on browns, coppers, plum shades, and I've been loving my Lorac Pro 2 palette. This is what it looks like here. I have a tutorial planned for you guys using rosé, mocha, nectar, and plum. So be on the lookout for that. Um, and then last but not least are some face products. I've mentioned this in several different um, videos before, even for favorites, I think. And it is the Wet n Wild Fergie Center Stage Collection. This is the Two Reflect Shimmer Palette in Photo Bomb. Now, this is a limited edition. You may still be able to find it at some Walgreens stores. It is a gold highlight palette, and I'm going to go ahead and swatch it for you. I have it on me today so it's what is highlighting me right here but it is just I don't know if you're gonna see it against my skin it is a gorgeous gorgeous gold if you guys are fans of the bombs Mary luminizer you will love this for the drugstore so if you see it and it's only this one I photo bomb is the one that has that gold iridescence it's soft it blends it applies really nicely I love it um, this reminds me of Mary Luminizer and um, it's three to four dollars around there if you can still find it I definitely suggest picking it up um, I've also been digging my benefit hula bronzer I probably never touch this thing which is kind of bad because as nice of a bronzer this is, it is actually really light for my skin tone. So I will almost never pick this up. And let me show you what I mean. I will grab a bronzer I use pretty often. Let's grab here my matte bronzer from, this is matte and white, and um, this is NYX's deep um, matte bronzer. And this is hula you see the difference how deep this is warm toned this tends to be a little bit more on a cooler side um, and it is quite light so you won't see me um, pretty much almost never use this during the summer months because yeah benefit just doesn't really have a product line for deeper skin tones as myself however winter time I will always pull this out that's why I like haven't even gotten close to hitting pan on this thing I swear but winter time I will always pull this out because it'll give me a nice contour or bronzed look without looking overly bronzed like I just stepped out of a tanning bed um, so I really do love this and what I do with it is I'll take my NARS Eda brush and run that in there and then I'll contour and fluff up and then I'll go in with my like my MAC 109 or one of my Sedona Lace um, domed brushes like this and blend it all out and then add color so it adds warmth to my face during the winter time when my skin tends to be a little bit lighter and that is it last but not least you know I gotta mention this because every year I am like crack fiend seriously heading to Starbucks, either buying the little packets I can make it at home or rushing like a nutso to Starbucks every morning to get my pumpkin spice latte. I love this stuff. Um, the salted caramel is another one of my favorites, pumpkin spice latte. These are fall or holiday flavors and I love it. I can drink this stuff all day and I'll be wired probably but I don't care because I love it. Yay, Starbucks! I am such a fiend when it comes to stuff like that. But yeah. So that is my favorites, guys. I hope you guys enjoyed this. Like I said, this is kind of a collaborative between August and September. So this video is a lot longer than I would like. I'll try and break it down where I can. I hope you guys enjoyed this video. I hope you guys are having an awesome fall so far. I'll see you guys in my next one. And I'll talk to you all soon. Smooches!